to my channel and welcome to today's video. In today's video it's going to be a YouTube video, uh, quite new for my channel. I'm going to be showing you how to use your laptop as a monitor while recording. So obviously this is what I'm using right now and um, so if you want some YouTube tips and tricks on how I got to where I am at the moment in terms of quality of video and lighting etc then keep on watching. <laughs> Right, first off you're going to need a Canon DSLR camera, a laptop, the interface cable which is going to connect your laptop to your camera and EOS Utility which you can get from the Canon website. So all you need to type in is EOS Utility for Canon, go to the EOS Utility software as you can see here and then you need to download the correct software for your Canon. So my Canon is a Canon 800D, so you just look it up in the list below. You see, as you can see, they do plenty of different models. So obviously, depending on the software and depending on your camera, you're gonna need different kinds of software. So I need the 800D. And then you need to obviously have your latest operating system as well. You download the file and place it onto your computer. And then once you've done that, it should load up. So what usually happens is, is you switch on your camera and you get up this screen called, um, it comes up straight away with uh, remote shooting and then you click on live view shoot here and that will give you a, a screen of what you're, what you're recording, as you can see. There you go, you can see me waving at myself there. I've currently switched over to my G7X so that you can see exactly what I'm doing. So I've obviously got everything connected, all my lights and everything. As you can see, the lighting's a little bit different here. So I'm going to just switch you around. So I've got my camera facing me there, if you can sort of see without the lights getting in the way. My camera is just... Camera is there. Can you see it now? Yeah, that's my camera. And then we've obviously got the cable and everything plugging into the side here. And then on the screen there, we've got my laptop and everything that I um, just use as a monitor. I don't edit on this laptop because it hasn't got the power that it used to. So I just use it basically as a, as a mirroring screen. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna switch on my camera. At the minute it is switched on, but what I do, switching it on, I switch it on here it sort of brings up this US utility and this little menu automatically comes up um, and then I'm gonna click here which is remote shooting and then it brings up this little window um, and I'm going to select live view shoot which is this sort of button here and then it brings up yourself so as you can see there I am on the screen um, I'm not recording at the minute on my camera um, obviously all the settings and everything are up there on my camera but what I can do here is I can let me just pull my little I have a little table here what I can do is I can as you can see the lights do a really good job of, uh, as you can see, if you want to see my lighting set up, they do a really good job of lighting up my face and everything, which is really good. It's kind of like a warm tone, but what you can do is you can alter the f-stop. So here, you can see what I'm doing here. If I was to change this f-stop here, which is obviously the camera setting to, to that, it obviously goes a little bit brighter. Uh, if you do the f6.3, it goes a little bit darker. Um, you can also change the iOS speed here. Um, you can either have it on auto. I generally don't. I have a little play around. Depending on the light outside, as you can see, there's a window there, but it's looking a little bit dull today. Um, I might, you know, if I start at 100, it's really dark. 200 is still a little bit on the dark side. So I've actually got it on 400 today, and I've got it on... 
um, that's probably a little bit bright. I've got it on f6.3. Now that also determines uh, the type of lens that you've got. Now the lens that I'm currently using is just the one that came with the camera. It's a um, yes, the lens is just a standard Canon 18 to 55 millimeter. Um, it is a hand sort of zoom, so sometimes I use it to zoom in. I do have a 50 mil as well, but that's just a standard 50. It doesn't change the zoom at all. Whereas this one, I can twist it. And obviously bring you in if I need to, but it only goes so far, if you know what I mean. The other one I have to swap lenses for. Um, so yeah, so that's what it, it looks like there. I can alter all the settings. Again, most of this though is created with the lighting set up um, as well. Um, I've obviously got um, on there as well, I've got a microphone too, which obviously reaches, it does do quite good quality because it is a road mic. Um, if you do want a full lowdown on my lighting equipment and everything, how I set that up, then let me know and I can give you a rundown on that. But yeah, obviously here, this is everything. You can see that my mic's working here because we have the sound, we have the sound going off here. Now at the minute I'm not recording, but obviously all I need to do is this here and as you can see i am now recording and as you can see uh, uh, you can pick me up on the screen again now so as we're recording we can't change these sort of things you need to do them beforehand um but yeah that's everything as you can see i'm being tracked as well this is a little thing here and um, i'd have to stop the recording again but this let me just do that for you now and switch over to this one um. Uh, so I've just stopped recording again. Now to sort out the tracking, you've got here face detection and tracking here, um, which is really good. Um, you can change it to live one point as well. Uh, there's different ones there. I think that's slightly different. You know, if you've got like, um, as you can see, it's just sort of zooming into my hand there. It's, not, it's no longer tracking my face, but obviously I prefer to have it on face detection and tracking so that if I move or if I put um, a product up on my hand up or anything, so say I was to show you uh, my glasses for instance, it's going to focus directly onto my glasses. So that's what you can do with the face detection. You can do the white balance as well. I do have a white balance card. I don't always use it to be honest, but basically you take this um, this little dropper here and you you can correct your white balance I generally don't bother doing that I do it sometimes but I don't I find it doesn't make a massive amount of difference most of the, the changing in the quality is done with the f stop and the um, iOS speed here which is basically how much light is being let into your lens so yeah if you do want to look at my lighting setup I will do a, a different video for that that's how I use my laptop as a monitor. Yeah, so if this was helpful, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that bell button. If you've got any other questions regarding YouTube, YouTube or any sort of setup or anything like that, um, please leave me a comment below. I'll do a video on it um, just to help you. I want to teach as much as I've learned over the last couple of years. I have learned quite a lot and obviously to get good quality videos, um, you do need lighting is key. So if you want to learn anything or you need to know anything, please leave me a message below and I have to go through that with you. So that's everything for the video. If you want to give me a big thumbs up, that would be brilliant. If you want to subscribe, you can do it in the link below. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and I'll leave it on the screen and I will see you all in the next video. Bye.